Good morning, Christ Center. It's Tuesday, September 26th. We're in week three of our walk through the book of John. As always, let's take a moment and invite the Holy Spirit here before we begin. This is Zach, and today's reading comes from John 3.31-36. through 36. He who comes from above is above all. He who is of the earth belongs to the earth and speaks in an earthly way. He who comes from heaven is above all. He bears witness to what he has seen and heard, yet no one receives his testimony. Whoever receives his testimony sets his seal to this, that God is true. For, who, for he who God has sent utters the words of God, for he gives the Spirit without measure. The Father loves the Son and gives all things into his hand. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. This passage reminds me of a quote about witnesses from one of my favorite novels of all time, a book called uh, Peace Like a River by Leif Enger. Here's the quote. No miracle happens without a witness, someone to declare, here's what I saw, here's how it went, make of it what you will. Yesterday, we read how John the Baptist had just been questioned about his own waning popularity. Remember, he was happy that his followers were leaving him and joining Jesus of Nazareth. He didn't mind decreasing at all. And in the scripture we just now read, we see why he was happy about it. It's because John didn't see himself as being worthy of having a great following. Like, not at all. He was just a simple man from planet Earth, whereas Jesus was not. Here's how Eugene Peterson translated John's words in the message from the good folks at Nav Press. Here's what he says. The earthborn, and that's John the baptizer, is earthbound and speaks earth language. The heavenborn, that's Jesus, is in a league of his own. He sets out the evidence of what he saw and heard in heaven. In other words, Jesus Christ was not normal. He was a witness, a witness to heaven itself. Heaven was his home country. That means Jesus had witnessed and taken part in creation, as we saw in chapter 1. Jesus had watched the waves of the Red Sea splitting. He had He had heard the walls of Jericho crash down. He had watched Elijah run down the mountain. He had seen the sun stand still over a battlefield. He'd seen it all. And even more importantly, Jesus had heard the words of his Father in heaven. He had seen the kingdom of God. In other words, Jesus Christ was a witness, the great witness who had seen it all. He acted like the Father because he had seen the Father. He spoke the words of the Creator because he had heard those words. He could give generously the gift of the Holy Spirit because he knew the Holy Spirit personally and apparently didn't mind sharing. Friends, the gospel is the testimony about Jesus, but it's also the testimony of Jesus who showed us what he had seen of the Father. Jesus never twisted anyone's arm into following him. He simply invited them to believe. No need for pressure, no need for threats, just a simple invitation to trust him. It's as if he was saying, here's who I am, here's what I saw, and here's how it went. Make of it what you will. And I think that is our invitation today. Will we believe in heaven's witness? Will we take his hand and trust him today? Because that's not just a choice we make one time during an altar call, friends. It's a decision we keep on making over and over and over again. And what a beautiful invitation that is. Let's pray. 
Thank you, Lord, for your invitation to follow. We say yes to you again today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.